This is the way it might have been. The Japanese Air Force spread its imperial wings over the American states to repay our treacherous enemy for his attack. With bombs and bullets spreading death and destruction, our honored brothers strike as far inland as Denver, Chicago, and Cincinnati. No, that's not quite the way it happened. This is the way the war looks when an American pilot takes a sight through his gun. Saigon, Nagasaki, Yokohama. That's where the war is being fought. And the pilot in this plane traveled 12,000 miles from New England to fight in it. You know what got me? It was the green fields and the houses, even the roads. Hell, it looked just like Vermont. Yes, from up here it looks like Vermont, or Pennsylvania, or Nebraska, or West Virginia. But it's not. It's 12,000 miles away. But just remember, these could be jet planes diving on Main Street, or the farmland just out of town, or the house next door. This could be a harbor in Texas. This could be a beach on the shore of Lake Michigan. This could be a small town in Iowa. This could be a river in Indiana. This could be a field in California. And this could be a 4th of July anywhere in America. Yes, this might have been America, but it's not. Instead, it's 12,000 miles away, and every mile was costly. Soon it'll be 13,000 miles away. And those last miles are going to be the most costly, in dollars and in death. The pilot who took these films brought them back. He brought back his plane and his gunner too. But he didn't live long enough to see them himself. Some of those 4th of July Roman candles caught him in the chest. But it's because of guys that these pictures were taken 12,000 miles away and not in America. How much does it cost to fight a war 12,000 miles away? Well, before you begin counting the billions of dollars, remember, it cost this man his life. We can cut down the cost of life by buying war bonds.